with another video. I mean, as you guys know, we are consistent. If you're new here, thank you for stopping by. Please don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Trust me, you're gonna love it here. And if you're a returning subscriber, then thank you so, so much for coming back. So as you guys could tell from the title of this video, today's Girl Talk video is tips on being a classy lady restaurant edition. So if that is something that you're interested in, please do stick around and enjoy. For those of you who don't know, the purpose of these Girl Talk videos is for us to create a platform where us as girls can help each other and give each other tips and share past experiences and past mistakes so that somebody else hopefully does not make the same mistake as you. And I share my experiences so that you can hopefully learn from my mistakes and so that you can hopefully do better. I chose to start off with restaurant tips for being a classy lady because I would say I am very suitable for speaking on this. I mean, I've been to numerous restaurants, both nationally and internationally, be it fine dining restaurants, be it Michelin star restaurants, be it fast food chains. So I would say I definitely know a thing or two about you know being classy in a restaurant setting and i figured why not share my knowledge and my experiences with you guys so that you guys can learn from my mistakes and i also felt like classiness is not really something that's spoken about in the way that it should be people use classiness as a way to like bring down other people you'll hear people say oh that's not classy oh that's trashy but nobody actually talks about how to be classy or how to do better instead they use it to just bring down other girls and that's not what we're doing that is not what we're doing over here and with all of that being said guys let us get into tip number one which may upset some of you guys i know but the first one is guys the club outfits don't belong in the restaurants like they really don't. The club outfits belong in the club. Like, there's absolutely no reason why you are going to tang, for goodness sake, with a dress that has cut out all over the place. Or even worse, you're going somewhere and your bum is hanging out. Like, guys, <laughs> for my sake, please don't do that. Make sure that you are dressed appropriately for every restaurant that you're going to. Most restaurants have dress codes. So the onus is upon you to figure out, well not even to figure out, to find out what the dress code is and to make sure that you adhere to that dress code. So if they say that you need to look semi-formal, don't look too casual because they're going to send you back. You know how they say right of admission reserved? It's true guys, right of admission is reserved and this is a mistake that I had made before guys and it was so embarrassing because... Even though I was dressed, you know, I was dressed to the nines, I was looking amazing. My skirt was a little bit too short and that's something that I had overlooked, which in hindsight I really shouldn't have because it was a Michelin restaurant and, you know, it had like all the hype about it and, you know, it was one of like those restaurants and I was just like, okay, I look nice, that's all that matters and no guys, sometimes that's not all that matters. <laughs> sometimes that's not all that matters. And when I walked up to the lady that like seats people, she looked at me and then she was like, oh my goodness, girl, your skirt is too short. And I was just like, and I was pleading with her because I mean, I was not going to be in the country for much longer and I really wanted to go to the restaurant. But she was just like, I'm so sorry, girl, like we can't let you in. And it was so embarrassing because everyone around me was wondering like what's going on. I was just standing there, guys. I was fighting for my life, let me tell you. And then after that, I told myself that, you know what, if in doubt, just wear as modestly as you can. Like, no type outfits, no bum sticking out, you know, just... Try to keep it, you know, as modest as you can while also expressing yourself and while also dressing true to how you would normally dress. The next tip is that absolutely none of your belongings should be on the table. So your handbag, your lip gloss, whatever it is, does not go on the table. Your handbag should actually go on those handbag hangers that most restaurants provide. But if that handbag hanger is not there, you should put your handbag either next to you or behind you because it's just going to make the table look messy and that's just something that you don't want to do. Like, 
act like you've been there before and also with belongings being on the table your elbows and your arms should also not be on the table at most you can just have your wrists on the table like literally just your wrists you should not be there you know with your elbows on the table because also if you think about it guys like if your elbows are on the table Chances are, like if you're wearing a top that is short sleeved or a top that doesn't have any sleeves, your elbows are going to end up looking ashy and they're going to get dry and they're going to be scratching on the table and that's just not a cute look. Anyways, so just try not to put your elbows on the table or any of your belongings. But also guys, you should take this with like a pinch of salt because this also depends on like who you're going out with. Obviously, if you're going out with your friend or it's just like a really casual thing, like no one is going to penalize you if you have your elbows on the table. But if you're going out on a date or like, you know, you're trying to impress the people that you're with, you're trying to be, you know, yeah, no, only your wrists, nothing more, nothing less. Please also note that when you need to go to the restroom, don't announce that you're going to pee. Like, don't get up and say, oh my goodness, I'm going to pee. Don't get up and say, oh my goodness, I'm going to the toilet. No, <laughs> don't do that. People don't need to know what you're going to do when you go to the restroom. People don't even need to know that you're going to the restroom. You just need to excuse yourself, you know, just say, may I be excused? You get up, you go do whatever you want to do. Or alternatively, you can just say, may I powder my nose? And then you get up and you go do what you need to do. And with that being said, guys, if there's something that you want to fix on yourself, like be it you want to just powder your nose literally, because I mean, like when you're wearing makeup, your nose actually does get very oily and shiny and it looks very shine bright like a diamond, you get me? And that's not cute. Or if you want to put on lip gloss or you want to comb your hair or literally whatever it is you want to do, don't do it on the table. Like, don't do it on the table. Like, don't do it. But also, guys, as I said, you can take these tips with a pinch of salt because, I mean, if you're out with your friend and you're putting on lip gloss, like, it's not that deep. But you definitely should not be combing your hair on the table because that is that deep, guys. Because, like, now your hair is going to be there on people's food. Gross. Gross. But, yeah, whatever it is you need to do, go do it in the bathroom and just excuse yourself politely and also if you are going somewhere and there's other people that are already on the table you need to greet them <laughs> you need to greet them this mean girl thing that some people have going on is just not gonna cut it like it actually makes you look so trashy because how do you get somewhere where you find other people and you sit at the table and you don't even say anything like that's very rude guys that is very very rude even if let's say you came with somebody and that person knows the people on the table and you don't know the people on the table you are supposed to initiate the person to kind of like you know introduce you to everybody there or you know you can just say hi and then that person that you came with will kind of like oh guys this is dinel you know that kind of thing like or you can just introduce yourself but ideally the person that you came with should be the one to introduce you but you definitely should be like you should be being polite makes all the difference like guys beauty is energy so your energy just needs to be right at all times and on the note of being polite you should also be as polite as you can be to your server but please treat your server with respect don't be rude to them don't don't swear under any circumstance. Make an effort to, you know, learn your server's name so that when you try to get their attention, you're not like, like, guys, that's so, eh, that's so gross. Like, don't do that. Don't do that. Like, oh my goodness. Okay, for me, when I want to get a server's attention, I just give them that look and then they know that, you know, they need to come, you know, attend to me. Or if they're close enough, I'll just call their name. That's all I was saying. Like, you need to make sure that you know your server's name. You need to be polite to your server. Guys, always be polite to the people that are handling your food. And if you can, if you can, please do tip your server. The standard is 10%. So if you can, please tip your server 10%. And if you so happen to get your food before the other people on the table, you can't eat before everybody else gets their food. Like, you need to wait until everybody gets their food and then you can eat. Besides, it's also very uncomfortable when you're the only one eating and everyone is just like, you know, watching you. Ah, that's so awkward. <laughs> that's so awkward. 
or if let's say you're placing your order and the other people that you're with are not yet ready to place their orders you can just ask the server to hold your order until all the orders are ready or you can only place your order when everybody else is also ready to order so the onus is up to you but i would say just make sure that your server knows that you want all the food for everybody to come at the same time and while you're eating please don't eat with your mouth open close your mouth and if somebody is speaking to you while you're eating you can just you know that's to signal that you're actually still chewing you don't want to speak or alternatively like if it's something that you're dying to say like you're just dying to answer this question you can take your napkin you cover your mouth and then you can answer the person and then you go back to chewing but with that being said guys also when you're eating please don't eat like your food is gonna run away like because it's not your food is never gonna run away like i promise you the food will still be there take your time cut up small pieces that you can chew quickly and so that you can carry on with the conversation without you having to you get and please also make sure that you sit upright a lady always has good posture don't be there slouching or sitting like you're at your dad's house no this is not your dad's house you must just sit like a lady and if you're wearing a dress or a skirt or actually anything that you're wearing make sure that your legs are not wide open like no you must be a lady you know cross your legs just be elegant be poised you know and guys as i said before beauty is energy so always just make sure you have the right energy because if your energy is off everything about you is going to be off and that's why you find that some people that may not necessarily be your idea of beauty or whatever it is are so exceptional and are just so magnetic and that's because their energy is just really good so always strive to have good energy and trust me when your energy is good and when you carry yourself like a lady everybody won't be able to help but notice that oh my goodness like we're in the presence of a lady and they're gonna treat you like a lady best believe you will find uber drivers even like getting out of the car to open doors for you because they can see that this is a lady okay or you'll see the servers you know opening their chairs for you ideally if you're going on a date that's what your date should be doing but you know, you need to be a lady to be treated like a lady. Period. So with that being said, guys, this marks the end of the video. I hope that it was helpful to somebody out there. And please note, guys, this was not like to put down anyone or to say that people who do certain things are not ladylike or anything like that. These are just tips for if you'd like to maybe be a little bit more classy or just to carry yourself a little bit more ladylike. And as I said, please do take these tips with a grain of salt and apply them according to whichever situation you're in so yeah guys this is it for me the consistent queen bye baby you don't know what you do to me between me and you i feel a chemistry i won't let no one come and take your place because the love you give you can't be replaced